Okay, so I'm doing my nails, but I want to show y'all that the easier way, if you have this Beatles lamp and you don't have like the one that don't have this big fat whatever, turn it upside down. Because I'm struggling trying to put the press on the hair and hold the glue together. First of all, it would be way easier if I had nail glue, but all my nail glue is dried out. So I didn't want to show y'all this part because it's boring and it's taking forever. But yeah, I'm gonna show y'all it because I just figured this out. And yeah, I'm using this Model One's nail glue. I'm just gonna brush that on at the tip part. Hide it from the UV ray. I'm grabbing my duct tip. And then I put it in here for 60 seconds. So yeah. Also, I got, this is the McCart nail display in rose gold. This is from Amazon. This lamp is from Amazon. Everything's from Amazon, literally. These these nail tips are gel X, but they're more flat than like these ones. Like you see, this one has like the apex built in it, versus this one is like more flat. So this is where we're at right now. I know I want some pink nails. I'm trying to log into my Pinterest. Hmm. I need to buy some some stones. The only charms I have are like charms that aren't stones. Really like these nails. These are nails by Kins. She's in Texas. I like the colors, like the pink and like the sparkles. That's really cute. I think like that kind of pink is what I want to do. But honestly, I want different colors on different fingers. So I think like on my thumb, I want it to be dark. I'm not sure if I want it to be this color pink. I'm thinking C131. I'm thinking C131. Um, one of these in this one. Y'all, I'm so happy my dress is here. It definitely has some weight in the packaging. This is a fuchsia embellished cutout mini dress in a size 10. So, I actually did measure myself and I bought, oh, according to those measurements. So let's pull it out. Let's, let's just see what it's about. Oh my gosh. It has some weight to it. That's the Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know if this top part is gonna be big enough. Wait, I wanna see it with my flash on. Hold on. Oh, period. Period. Oh, yeah. Let me see with the nails. Oh, period with the nails. Yeah. Okay. So, my dress did not fit. It's too big. I got two pimples. It's just a lot right now. I don't have no shoes to wear. I'm not going up here. That is so cute. Way to deal, way to kill the mood. No, you like that shit.
Okay, so it's literally December. What today is? Fourth, fifth, and I'm doing the birthday haul. So this is everything I got for my birthday. Period. I'm sorry, I keep looking over because I got my little setup, like my camera right here, my laptop right here, and my phone. No more phone videos. One time somebody commented on my videos like the lighting is trash. Okay, like you gonna you gonna buy me some better lights? Well, okay, so I asked for the Sol de Janeiro four perfume set. So this one, it comes with forty. Forty is black amber, plum, and vanilla woods. Honestly, this one is my favorite. That's why I'm trying not to use it because it's my favorite. It comes with real radiance. Which smells like very coconutty and it comes with 62. This is my least favorite right now. This is my least favorite. It's pistachio and salty caramel. However, I did, I'm allergic to nuts, so I searched it up and it doesn't contain nuts. It's supposed to kind of smell like it. And I sprayed it on myself and I never broke out, but it's just not for me. Like, if it was just salty caramel, yeah, but the nut part is like. And then it comes with 68, which is Brazilian Jasmine and Dragon Fruit. I like this one. If you like floral scents, you're going to like this one. I'm not too big on florals. It's alright. I like the, um, and I'm not, I'm like, I'm not really too big on vanillas either. But this 40, it just smells so good. 40, listen. These two is my favorite. 40 and Real Radiance. Video radiance just smells so clean and tropical, like the coconut, like it smells. And these two together, it's like per. I like mixing them two together, but obviously I'm trying not to because these are my favorites, and I don't want them to go first. If you can hear my laptop, ignore it. It's, the fan turned on. It, it's hot right now because it's on the charger. It got the camera plugged out. It's it's on the last stuff. So the next thing I asked for was this cute, like, switch case for my Nintendo Switch. Look how cute it is. Like, you see, like, the strawberries and, like, the bunny. It's so cute. Like, ah. And then this is what the front looks like. Oh, let me clean my screen up. <laughs> this is what the front looks like. It's so cute. I had to buy the flowers, like, separately, but... It's so cute. But. And also another thing I asked for for my birthday. Oh damn it's not even in here. Another thing I asked for for my birthday is Undertale. This game. The friendly RPG where nobody has to die. It's basically like a choice game. You could choose whether you could kill the plants or not. What a monster. Okay. I like this game so far. I'm at a part where it's hard. Like you got you, Some people you really gotta fight. But I'm at a part right now where it's hard. But I really do like the game. Like, it's so cool. Like, I saw like a YouTuber play it like maybe like years ago. It come with this like bug. So like, you a human, you fall. Like all the monsters and humans used to live together. Then they went to war, and the, they put the monsters underneath the ground. And you a human, and you somehow fell underneath on the ground. Now you with the monsters, you try to get back up to the surface. And like this book basically tells you the story of like. How you fell, what happened, and that begins the game. Like this book is, it's period. It's like so, like monsters underground. Like they be trying to capture me and bring me to the um the soldiers. Like, but I'm so happy I got this. <laughs> the next thing I asked for for my birthday was a Hello Kitty case. Um, my boyfriend did buy it for me, but like the side they sent him the wrong size on my phone i have a 14 they sent him the 14 pro i asked for these slippers they are victoria's secret slippers they also have like a brighter pink one but i bought the one of these ones so they're like so like i like the shade of pink it's like very light it actually looked kind of um white but it's pink 
Um, the next thing I asked for was a tripod for my phone. Then I asked for this Hello Kitty robe. Y'all see her? Hello Kitty. It's like a big pink robe. Yeah. It's just a pink robe. It's a Hello Kitty robe. Y'all see I like Hello Kitty. She in the background. She on my bow. This is the last thing I wanted for my birthday, y'all. Wait till y'all see it. Y'all gonna be. Y'all gonna be, yeah. Hold on. Hold on. But look what I got. Welcome to the wonderful world of P. Louise. This is P. Louise advent calendar. The small version for December. Like, look at the packaging. Like, period. Like. Like it look, I gotta turn this down so y'all can really see. Like, it's gold. It's like a gingerbread house. The reason why this video took forever because I could have just posted like the first part by itself, but I'm like, that's too short. Like nobody really cares to watch that. Like, why is it so short? I was waiting on this. This was a you had to pre-order this. First of all, my boyfriend ordered it in October, so since it was a pre-order, it only shipped out in November. It's November November 24th is shipped. So I'm like, damn, like I want my package. Like I'm like, damn, it's December 1st. Like usually that's the first day you open the advent calendar. Like But that look crazy with this one. So whatever. Yeah. I got this advent calendar. Um, I'm gonna be making a whole separate video on unboxing this and everything in it. So, y'all stay tuned. So, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to them. Um, tell me happy birthday. On my latest video, it's gonna be linked up. Bye.